Apple's first foldable iPhone is getting closer to launch, and new information suggests it will arrive with a major change. It will be an eSIM only device. That means no physical SIM tray at all. This decision is not just about modernizing the design, but about making sure the phone has enough space for its foldable hardware. Leaks from China, shared through McCroomers, claim that Apple's foldable iPhone, often called the iPhone Fold, is planned for late 2026 or early 2027. This would be Apple's first major entry into the foldable market, putting it up against Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold series and other premium foldable phones. The device is expected to open like a book. It may feature a 5.5-inch cover display and a larger 7.8-inch main display on the inside. With this size, Apple is clearly targeting users who want a compact device that can transform into a small tablet. One of the biggest engineering challenges with foldable phones is internal space. Foldables require two screens, a stronger hinge, extra structural support, and a battery that can keep up with the power demands. Because of these tight constraints, Apple reportedly decided that a physical SIM tray takes up too much room. A normal SIM tray needs several components, a metal frame, an ejection mechanism, waterproof seals, and a full reader system. All of these parts add thickness and reduce flexibility for arranging the internals. For a foldable device, even a few millimeters make a huge difference. By choosing eSIM only, Apple can free up space for the hinge system and increase battery size, a critical improvement because foldable screens drain more power. Apple faced similar challenges when building the ultra, thin iPhone Air, and removing the SIM tray was one of the solutions. But this design decision creates a new problem China. China is Apple's largest iPhone market, and users there strongly prefer physical SIM cards and dual SIM devices. These preferences come from the country's competitive carrier market and the popularity of reselling phones. Analysts warn that an eSIM, only foldable could struggle in China unless Apple works closely with telecom regulators and carriers. When Apple removed the SIM tray from the iPhone 14 in the US, it still kept physical SIM versions for many international regions. Whether Apple will release two versions of the foldable iPhone is still unknown. In terms of pricing and features, the iPhone Fold is expected to be Apple's most expensive phone ever. Estimates place the starting price between $2,000 and $2,500. At this price, Apple is aiming to offer top-tier technology. Early reports suggest that the phone will have a crease, free folding display, something many foldable users have been waiting for. Apple is also working on an under-display 24MP camera for the inner screen, which would mean no visible hole, punch cutout. The battery is reportedly between 5,000 and 5,500 mAh, making it the largest battery ever in an iPhone. This is necessary to support the bigger screens and the new hinge system. The rear cameras may be more modest, with a 40MP main sensor instead of a full Pro level setup. Analysts believe Apple is choosing practicality here, saving internal space for the hinge, structure, and battery. The materials are expected to include titanium, reinforced glass, and aluminum to protect the device from the stress of folding thousands of times. The move to eSIM only is also part of a much bigger industry trend. More than 1, 3 billion people already use phones with eSIM support, and that number is expected to rise to 3 billion by 2030. By 2025, most mobile operators worldwide will offer complete eSIM support, making physical SIM cards less necessary. eSIMs also offer better security, because they cannot be physically removed, stolen phones remain trackable. This is especially valuable for a device that could cost well over $2,000. Apple's long-awaited foldable iPhone looks like it will push the company even further into the future of digital connectivity. While challenges remain, especially in China, the iPhone Fold could mark a major shift in Apple's design philosophy. If it succeeds, it may accelerate the global move toward eSAM, only smartphones and set a new standard for what next generation foldable devices should look like.